What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to these videos where I teach you how to perform magic using things you can find around the house. We have a lot of tricks on this YouTube channel, but I gotta say, I'm very excited about this trick. Why? Well, we did a version of it earlier and it generated a lot of response. So I thought I'd teach you another trick using this method. Very excited, you're going to absolutely love it, so stick around. All right, I have a very special guest. Does he need an introduction? Does he need an introduction? Do we know who he is? Do we know? It's George. Everyone knows George from the YouTube channel. He's been on like every single video. My gosh, we haven't paid him for any of the videos. We're just feeding pizza, which is his favorite food, right? Yeah. You see how I knew that? Because I'm a mind reader. Or maybe it's because we had a conversation before we started. Because <laughs> that's my favorite food, which is actually pizza and pasta. Yeah. Would it be because we're Italian? Don't know. Okay. Don't know. George, are you excited to be here? You look very excited. Yeah. <laughs> he looks very excited. George? This is an awesome card trick. Now the previous version I did with your sister Rosie, okay? But this trick is so good, so baffling. We've had so many comments about it that I wanted to show you another trick you can actually do with it. But I'll teach you too, George, but you're gonna love it. Okay, very simple. Packet of playing cards. I'm going to show you and everybody else that all the cards in the pack are completely different. That's important, yes? Yeah. Okay, great. Now, before we even start, I'm gonna shuffle the pack, but George, you have no idea what's about to take place, correct? Yeah. No, okay, great. Very good, George, I want you to take a card. Any? Yeah, take any one you want. Have a look, don't show me. Now, are you happy with that card? Do you want another one? Uh, I'm fine with this one. Okay, show the camera, don't show me. Okay, great. Place the card on top of the pack. Good, I'm going to now sandwich the cards in the middle, just like this. Okay? Yeah. Can you see? Now it's in there? Yeah. I'm gonna show you that all the cards are mixed up. Can you get a good look at that? Yep. Yeah. You can take the pack, you can even give it a shuffle. If you want, just give it a shuffle. It doesn't really matter. Good, ah, look at that. See, George has been practicing. Perfect, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, do you remember your card? Yes. Okay, place the cards back down here. Now this is really important. I need you to look at me, okay? And I'm gonna try and read your mind. So first thing I need you to do, George, is think about the color of your card. There's two choices, there's red cards and there's black cards. Think about the color. Okay, just look at me. Okay, so it's a red card, correct? If it's a red card, it has to be a heart or a diamond. Think about which one it is, a heart or a diamond. Think about which one it is. Just look at me. I want you to repeat after me. I want you to say heart, and then I want you to say diamond. So say heart. Heart. Now say diamond. Diamond. Heart. Heart. Diamond. diamond. So it's a diamond. Okay, think about whether it's a number card or a picture card, numbers or pictures. Okay, so I'm going to say, I want you to say yes to everything, George. Do you understand? Yeah. Is it a picture card? Yes. Is it a number card? Yes. Okay, it's a number card. Great, so it's numbers. Think about the numbers. I'm gonna call out some numbers now. Just see them inside your mind. I'm gonna call out these numbers. Here we go. Ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, blink on ten, so we know it's not a high card. It's in the middle somewhere. Four, oh, you're blinking on four, so it's not low, okay. So it's five, six, seven, you're smiling, you're confirming, okay. I'm gonna go with, it is the, um, okay, this is what I've got. Um, is your card the six of diamonds? Yes. There you go. Thank you very much. High five. How'd you do it? To me. How did I do it? Well, uh, I'm gonna teach you right now. To perform this particular trick, you need a pack of cards, just a regular pack of cards. You need a piece of paper or a post-it, whatever you like, and a pen, that's it. Things you can find absolutely anywhere. Grab those, meet me back here, and I'm going to give you the secret and the method to this particular trick. Okay, George, to perform this trick, as you know, you need a pack of cards. Yeah. Now, this technique is using the key card. Now, it has a very different outcome to the one that I actually taught with Rosie. 
So there's many ways you can actually perform this trick using this method, okay? Yeah. I did one before with kind of like a, a pen find in the card. This one was a version where I read your mind. But it uses the same method, even though it looks like a completely different trick. That's why I'm so excited by it. Because yeah. if you learn this method, then you can do a lot of card tricks, which means you should really put the time and effort into the practice, right? Yeah. With that being said, George, you remove a card that you can keep track of. So a really obvious card like the Ace of Spades, or I remove the Joker, okay? So let's use the Joker for now, okay? Yeah. So what you do is you place the Joker on top. Mm -hmm. And now all you do, as you know, you do an overhand shuffle and I'm going to shuffle the Joker to the bottom. So the rest of the cards now sit on top, okay? So the Joker's now on the bottom. I ask mm -hmm. you to select a card. You take any card you like, and you really do. You make sure that you, as the magician, do not see the card. If you see the card, don't overlook this point. If you see the card, then there's no point to the trick. So you've really got to make a big deal about, I can't see the card. Turn away. Ask your volunteer, George, to show the audience. You turn away, don't even look, okay? They'll show the audience the card. Now, what you do is you cut the pack in half. So you take half the pack and you just split it. Now I'm going to ask you to put your card on top and I take the bottom, remember I cut the pack, the bottom of the pack and I place it on top. Look, look where the Joker is. Okay, can you see it there? I'm going to place it on top. So now the Joker card is on top of your card. I honestly don't even know what your card is still at this point, I have no idea. Yeah. But I know the Joker is on top of it. So all I have to do is spread through the deck and when I see the Joker, which is here, I know that the Six of Clubs is your card, correct? Yeah. But I don't really want to spread through it like that, George. So how could I do this? You've got to get creative. I thought, well, if I spread the pack, I can show you that all the cards are different. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, so I spread through it, and I know by getting a quick glimpse, it's going to be the card next to the Joker, which is the Six of Clubs, okay? So now I know it's your card. I take the pack, I can give it to you. You can shuffle it, you can mix it up, this doesn't even matter. It, it, it doesn't matter at all. You can throw them around and it means nothing. But I do know that your card is a six of clubs. So now all I do is I take my piece of paper and my pen, you can put the cards on the table, George. And all I do is now pretend to read your mind. So there's a couple of ways I could do this. I could just say, George, think of your card, write it down, six of clubs. I could do that. Or I can take my time and kind of stretch it out. I could say, think of the color of the card. Oh, it's a black card. Think of whether it's a club or a spade. I could do it that way. Or maybe I could say, George, look at me. Look at me, great. Okay, I could ask you a few questions. What's your favorite food? And you could answer? Pizza. Pizza, ah, pizza, which means you like, ah, it's a black card. Now this has nothing to do with the trick, but I'm making it up. Okay, so it's a black card, because I know it's a black card. Uh, what's your favorite color? Probably aqua. Aqua, aqua is your favorite color. Yes, yeah, so I've got black here. So if it's aqua is your favorite color, it means it relates to, uh, it's a club. Yeah, it's a club. Now, of course, that means absolutely nothing. Then I could ask you another question like, do you like swimming? Yes. You do, you like swimming, mm -hmm. which means it's a number card. It's a number card, great. And I'm writing it down, number card. And finally, another question. Do you like uh, cats or dogs? Cats. Cats. <gasps> which means it has to be uh, the Six of Clubs. So I know your card is the Six of Clubs. Now, of course, those questions have nothing to do with the reveal, but it's interesting yeah. and it kind of adds to it. Yeah. So think of creative ways that you can actually pretend to read somebody's mind. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. But all you're doing is using that key card method. So you could say pretty much like, do you like TV? Mm -hmm. And then if they say yes or no, it's, Say their card is a joker, okay, it's a black joker. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You just, you, you know, as long as you see what card it is, if, it doesn't matter what their answer is. You say, do you like TV? Now, most likely people are gonna say yes. And you say, interesting, yeah, that means it must be a red card, if it's red. Yeah. Yeah, you can ask any questions you want. So hmm. you, can, you can create ways to read people's minds. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. yeah. And th what that does is, which is really good, it kind of, it's more interesting than just saying, oh, it's the six of clubs. Mm. It makes the trick more entertaining. And it makes it look like you're doing, like you, you know more magic, because you could just do what you did, and instead of reading the mind, you could just go, oh, it's that card. But 
when you read the mind, it's making it look like you're more of a magician. Very good point. That's exactly what I'm trying to get at. You're this What Georgie's saying here is, you're disguising the trick, the method. We know the trick is you spread the cards, you look at the joker, the card next to the joker is the card. But by adding that acting in that presentation, George said it makes you look more magical because you do look more magical. So you're disguising what we're calling magic. You're kind of packaging the method and hiding it. Really yeah. good. Okay, George, tips. What do we need to know? Teach me something. Well, um, if you spread it from right to left, mm -hmm. then all the cards are upside down. Mm -hmm. So you want to spread it from left to right. Like how you read a book. Yeah. The way you read a book. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. So you, you want to spread the cards from left to right. So go from the left to the right, which is kind of opposite for the people there. Yes? Yeah. Why is that? Normally in a spread, you will only see the top numbers. Okay. And so it's a little bit hard to read them that way. like that. But do you know why also I think? Because right. if you spread it left to right, you know, when you spread it left to right, you know the joker, the card that's sitting on top is always going to be the selector card. Okay, so all you gotta do, a tip really is, look for the card that sits on top of the joker or your key card. Then you'll know it's the card. Oh yeah. It's a good tip, okay? Yeah. But it's a good tip, the spread makes sense. Yeah. Spread left to right, makes more sense. Very good. Another tip, what have I got? Um, well, don't stare at the, at the key card. You don't wanna like stare at it, you just wanna get a glimpse, right? Yeah, kinda like just spread it out and mm -hmm. pretend that, just pretend that um, you're not looking at it mm -hmm. and just pretend they're trying to see where their card is. Right. Or so just check if there's, if there's all the cards are different. So in other words, just do it quickly. Yeah. I think that's the point. You want to spread the cards and do it quickly. Don't take your time here. Don't rush and fumble, but spread it. Say, look, all the cards are different and have a look. Oh, remember I said when I did the performance, maybe don't go through it like this. Cause that looks a bit obvious, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's better to do the spread in any way you can. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good yep, point. Cause... What else? Do you, well George, you know, cause you're a magician in training. Do you think this requires, it, it requires practice, doesn't it? Mm. It does. So I think Definitely. a really important tip is that practice it. I know you know the secret, but practice in front of a mirror or a device. Don't show anyone yet. Spend time in your room or wherever you can practicing the trick. Uh, that's like tip, the top of tips. Practice, put the time and effort in. Any other tips? Um, no, I'm not sure. No, I think that's pretty much it. We've covered it all. Good job. There you have it. Another awesome card trick using the key card method. I absolutely love this trick. It truly is baffling. People have no idea how you're actually doing it because it's got those beautiful elements built in where you're spreading the cards, you're showing that they're all mixed up, you get them to mix it up. That confuses people. So put the time in, put the effort in because this particular card trick deserves it. With that being said, thank you so much for watching these videos and I'll see you at the next one.